Okay, so when we've got a question like this, there is a simple question we must be asking ourselves. Is the square root of i equal to 1? So let's try to do this. We know that in mathematics, i is the complex. So this is complex number. Okay? So for example, when I ask you to find the square root of 4, of course you're going to say it's a 2. But what about the square root of a negative 4? When you punch on your calculator, it will give you math error. And uh, this is where the E comes in. So this is a 2i. The square root of negative 4 will give us a 2i. So this is what you need to know. Now, in this situation, they've given us uh, i is equal to 1. Is this true? Y is equal to 1. Let's try to do this. The square root of i is equal to 1. Let's try to get rid of this power 2. Uh, I mean the square root. We introduce a power 2 here and the power 2 here. So the root and the power 2 will cancel out. We shall remain with i, which is equal to 1 to the power 2 will just give us a 1. Are these two equal to each other? They are not equal to each other. Okay. Again, here, I can introduce a power 2 and a power 2. The reason why I've decided to introduce power 2 here is because I know that i is equal to the square root of negative 1. In case you don't know, i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Such that if, if I put a power 2 here and also power 2 here, this will give me a negative 1 equal to negative 1 here. The root and this will cancel. But here, when we introduce, we're going to get a negative 1 this side, which is equal to a 1. And when you look at this, these two are not equal to each other. So I don't know, maybe you can try to comment in the comment section if you know how this can be proved or if this is true. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share this video. This has been Sichamba Jacob and bye-bye. Uh,